So, have you ever walked up to your boiler, looked to see the water level in your reflex or prismatic gauge glass and couldn't find the water level? Well, it could be that the inside of the reflex glass is being attacked by high pH levels in the boiler water. When the combination of higher pressures and high pH in the boiler water occur, the prisms of the reflex gauge are starting to wear away. When this happens, the silicas are being drawn out of the unprotected gauge glass wearing away the prisms and thinning the glass. It is important to note that the reflex glass is roughly three quarters of an inch thick and the gasket surface is about a quarter of an inch wide. So if the gauge should ever leak, it will leak out the side of the gauge first before anything can leak out the front of the gauge. The prisms that are molded on the inside of the glass are what create the black and the white colors in the gauge glass. Up to the water level, the gauge appears black. The light will pass through the glass and what you're seeing is the back of the gauge body giving the appearance of a black color. Where there is no water in contact with the glass, light is reflected back giving the appearance of white or a silver color. So because of this, protecting the inside of the reflex glass is not an option. To remedy this, the user must either rebuild the glass more frequently or upgrade to a microprotected transparent flat glass gauge. The mica shield protects the glass from the corrosive effects of the boiler water. When using a flat glass type of gauge, it is always recommended to use LED illumination for the operator to see the water level, especially in low lit areas or when the operator must look up to see the gauge glass. Another option is to use a bicolor ported type gauge that has the proper illumination that is required by ASME code. Thanks for viewing our pilot episode of Clark Reliance 2-Minute Tips. Be on the lookout for future episodes. Thanks again and have a Clark Relific day.